What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna to be comparing living in Henderson versus living in Summerlin. All right, so like I said, we're gonna be comparing Henderson to Summerlin. This is a question that I get asked frequently on Instagram through my direct messages. I've gotten a couple emails asking about the two and just some people in the comments asking about the differences between the two as well. Now, before we get into it, I do wanna say, I still think no matter what this video may teach you, what information that it may give you, I think that you should always implement information. I don't think that you should just consume information. So the best advice that I can give you after watching this video, take it, write it down, see which one you think you're gonna like and come here and visit both places, check out both places and then make the educated choice based on your experience, which one you prefer. So hopping right into it, the first thing to know is that Henderson is its own city. So here in Henderson, it is considered its own city. We have our own fire department, we have our own police department, we have a mayor, we have all of the things that a normal city would have. We are a fully incorporated city, whereas Summerlin is strictly just a neighborhood. It is just a development. It is an area in Las Vegas. So it is not going to be completely separate to Las Vegas like Henderson is. So that's one thing to be aware of. These two places to live get compared a lot, um, but this is actually a big factor because if you're gonna need any medical services, if you're going to need any emergency services and you live in Henderson, you're going to get the Henderson department. Whereas if you live in Summerlin, you're going to get the Las Vegas Metropolitan Department, which serves a much larger um, scope of the valley. So you may have to possibly wait longer um, or whatever the case may be. Just be aware that here in Henderson, we do have our own fire and police department. Now, the second thing we're gonna talk about is the location. Summerlin is west of the Strip. It's in the western part of the valley, and it has kind of started spreading a little more north and a little more south. It used to be just in the middle, but it has really developed. There's like Summerlin South, and it goes very, very far as far as it is. It's a big, big place. That is something to be aware of. It is a little further away from the Strip. It's a little further away from the airport. Um, but the bonus to living over in Summerlin is you're very close to Red Rock Canyon. So if you're somebody who enjoys hiking, you enjoy going outdoors, and you just like that aspect where you know you could be in 10, 15 minutes to Red Rock Canyon, and sometimes even closer, there are neighborhoods that are literally neighboring the entrance of Red Rock Canyon. So if you live there, you can be there even quicker. But if you're somebody who just likes to get away for peace, like I said, go hiking, maybe with your dog, by yourself, with your girlfriend, with your family, then this may be an ideal place for you. Now, as far as Henderson, it's gonna be about 15 minutes from the strip, 20 minutes from the strip at the most if there's a little bit of traffic. Same for the airport. I live in Green Valley, which is a neighborhood inside of Henderson, and I can literally get to the airport in about 10 minutes if it's in the evening. So very fast, I live right off the 215. It's just very close to get everywhere and if you are living in Henderson and again you are somebody who likes to hike you like to go outdoors whether again that's with family pets whatever it may be it's just your escape to get away um, we have Lake Mead that is very close by we have the Hoover Dam that is very close by there so you can do plenty of hikes there's the hot springs there's the Colorado River so there is plenty over here to do as well so whatever kind of water sports you are into there is that. Now in Henderson, we also have Lake Las Vegas. So it's a smaller man-made lake. It does connect, I believe, into Lake Mead, but it's, it's a lot smaller. It's gonna be more for like your paddle boarding, doing like small little things with the kids or the family. It's not gonna be like you can take like a big boat out in Lake Las Vegas. I've seen boats out there as well, but if you're gonna do like jet skis and boats, um, I would recommend Lake Mead. It's just a lot bigger. There's gonna be more places you can go and dock, but those are things that you can do in Lake Las Vegas as well. So if you are an outdoor person at all, you prefer the outdoors, you're gonna be great in either area. However, if you prefer water sports, you prefer the lake life, you prefer those type of things, then Henderson probably will be a better area for you because of Lake Las Vegas and the access to Lake Mead. So as far as the housing goes typically henderson is going to be a lot more spread out there is going to be bigger lots if you're looking to get a house there's definitely more empty land here and overall i think that you can get more for your money in henderson whereas in summerlin it is much more developed 
and it's gotten it's very very popular over the last you know decade or, or more so there's been a lot building up so the lots are going to be smaller you will find more of your kind of you know all the homes that kind of are pre-made they look the same you know they don't really have that unique fit of course you can always get a custom house you know if you have the money for for all of that but i feel like over here in henderson um, if you want to do that you can do that at a better price point compared to doing it in Summerlin. So over here, again, you're gonna get bigger lots, bigger houses, more house just for your money in general. Whereas in Summerlin, you're gonna get a smaller house, smaller lots for your money. As far as apartments go, they're probably gonna be about the same. I've kind of looked at the two and they're roughly the same. I wouldn't say there's a big price difference between either of the two. And again, apartments and houses and all of that, they all vary depending on your lifestyle, your needs. Do you have kids? Do you need a garage? How many bedrooms do you need? How many bathrooms do you need? Do you want two floors? Do you want one floor? Do you want a pool? Like there's just so many things that come into factor with the pricing. So if you're interested in looking into pricing of houses or apartments, truly just go onto Zillow.com, go onto Trulia.com, go onto Rent.com, go onto Apartments.com and put in the zip code here for Las Vegas and just scope around the valley and you'll very easily be able to get an idea for how much you're gonna be paying for the apartments or for the houses living in either of these developments. And the last thing we're gonna go over is kind of ties into the outdoor life as well. I believe that both areas have a lot of walking trails. I believe that Henderson definitely has more parks in it. I know that Summerlin has pretty much paved roads and just hiking trails throughout the entire neighborhood itself and tons of interconnected paths that you can take. Here in Henderson, we have the same thing. I mean, almost every corner has a park on it. And yes, there are parks in Summerlin as well, but I just, from my own perspective that I've had from driving around, I don't have a map up. I've never like sat there and really compared, you know, foot for foot, which one has more parks. But I believe that Henderson has more parks. And the great thing about Henderson that I really, really like, obviously this video is a little biased towards Henderson because I live here, but everything is very close. So you can go within five to 10 minutes, you can be at the mall, you can be at Walmart, you can be at Target, you can be at the grocery store, you can be at the gym, you can be at one of the local casinos if you want to. Um, we have the two local casinos here that are really popular, Green Valley Ranch, Sunset Station. There's also the Fiesta, but it's not like a very popular one. If you're going into Summerlin, you have Red Rock, and then I believe there's another station casino over there. So they do have local casinos as well. And then I think the JW Marriott over there is pretty popular um, as far as casinos go. But um, just over here, everything is just super close. I don't ever find myself really leaving Henderson, to be honest. Um, whereas if I lived in Summerlin, I feel like I would be leaving Summerlin a little bit more to go to certain places. Everything is literally here within a five to 10 minute drive in Henderson. And I have loved living here. I personally would not want to live in any other area in the valley um, if I did have a choice, which obviously I, I do. So I wanna stay here in Henderson. I like Henderson for the quietness, for the more spacious, um, just lots, the more spacious environment, the plentiful parks. And just overall, I feel like it's very family oriented. People are very friendly here. Um, people are not like snobby or anything, which I hear you can get into Summerlin because some people, you know, who have a bigger house or have cars, sometimes, you know, they, they, they think that they're, you know, better. And ultimately a lot of those people are just debt slaves. So at the end of the day, like you have to make your choice, which one you believe is better for you. And like I said, in the beginning of the video, I think the best thing that you can do is to just come here to visit, to check out both places and just do some research before you come and have a list that you want to check out and then make an educated choice from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe as well down below. That way you never miss out on a future video. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.